that you have quicks all set up in this video i want to give you an overview so you can really see the power and how incredible and amazing this uh extension is so i'm not going to cover every single thing about it in this one video because for the rest of this course i do that so i wanted to kind of get your your juices flowing and i want you to see how things work so this is the dashboard and it's very clean. One of the things that I love about this dashboard is that you get to see your image optimization rank, how well it's been optimized, your mobile, you get to see your SEO, your page rank and all those you know things here. And once again, we'll cover that later on in another video. And then you get to, you know, make sure that you leave this guy's uh, a five star review because they've done an excellent job with this. So I want you to click here, okay, you deserve it. And you're going to be able to go to the Joomla extension directory to leave them a review for that. So at the very top here, you have this, the new, and then you have the SEO. When you click on the SEO, it is going to open up a page where you can be able to put in all the SEO detail um, about your site there. You know, it's really great uh, that you put in your SEO detail. And as you can see here, you choose what type, is it a person, a local business, or something that's custom? If it is custom, you can put that information there. You put in the name, the URL, the logo, the Facebook. Now, I really do encourage you to fill as much of this as possible. Fill the ones that you're the most, most active in. So if you're more active on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram or whatever one you, you know, most active on, you fill that. And then for your contact, you know, do you have a contact number people can be able to reach you at? You can put in the billing, the support, you choose this and you go based according to that. And then you fill all this stuff out, uh, which is really great. And once you do that, you click on save and close. So once again, this is for your business specifically. So I'm not really putting anything now because I wanted to show you how to get that done. So fill this part out and put that logo on there. Okay, so now we are back over here and Let's take a look at the new. The new allows you to create a new page, and we're gonna go over that in just a second. But let's see what other tabs that are here. So you have the pages. Let's click on this. When you click on pages, these are the existing pages that you have on the website. So let me click on this here to see what's on the front end. So that's what you click on to preview the front end. But this shows you all the current pages that you have. When you see a lock on something like this, you have to do what's called a check-in. So if you ever come across a lock, just click on this lock and it's gonna check it in. So now that little lock is gone. Sometimes when that happens, you're not able to um, edit a page. So it gives you SEO stats here, your score. Right now it says zero because nothing really has been done. And you see this, you can unpublish or you can publish something. So if you click on this eye, it's going to preview whatever page this is. So in this case, it's going to be uh, the home page here. When I clicked on that, it's going to let you preview what's in the home page or whatever page that you click on. Now, if you want to rearrange the order of these, you just click here. Once you click there, it is going to activate the movement so you can move things up or move them down. But you have to click this little sort the order in here to be able to do that. And then we're going to take a look at creating the pages, but I want to walk you through this next part. Let's go to templates. As you create more and more, you're going to realize that templates become like your buddy. And what that means is that there's certain part of your website that you don't, you create a lot, and this is gonna make more sense later on, but there's certain things that you use a lot, like um, maybe like a specific header, a specific section that you had. You like how that is designed and you want to keep that design to be uniform throughout the site. Well, instead of you having to create that thing over and over again for each page, you can put that in your template section and you can be able to reuse that. And I'll show you how to be able to use that. Another beautiful thing too about that is that you can use this short codes in your Joomla articles, which we'll take a look at at a later video. But you can use this in your Joomla articles, which is really great. Listen, when I started using Joomla 12 plus years ago, creating pages to look professional, Man, it took so many days to get it done because you had to hand code so much, which leads to the integration. So let's go over here. Now the integration, this is where you can be able to integrate any one of this uh, other third party extensions uh, into Quicks and it's going to work flawlessly. So in this course, I'm not going to integrate all of them, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to get it done. So you see where you see this, this toggle, if you click on, you've enabled it, you've disabled it. 
Now you saved it. And a great way to do that is that you can be able to integrate any one of this easy block, Digicom, Virtual Mart, Hiker Shop, uh, the K2 Zoo, the JU Direction, the J2 Store. You can integrate that in your site and use the features that come with each extension. Okay, so let's say for Virtual Mart, you can integrate Virtual Mart or J2 Store. All the features that allows you in J2 Store, which the site uses, you can incorporate quicks into your j to store just giving you even more capabilities to do things and we're going to take a look at that later on so now let's move over to the elements elements are different features that you can add on your website so as you scroll down here you're going to realize that you have a lot of things that you can be able to add so let's say you want to add an alert you can do that. You can want to add a block quote. Let's go. You want to add a pie chart, a person, a number, uh, pricing table, social icon, SoundCloud, video. Um, you can be able to add a lot of different things. So when you're building your website, for example, and you let's say you want to create a, a page about a you want to put a video on the page. Well, you have the video. You can use the video. They got a video pro that you can be able to use to put on the page. Now let's go over to uh, the pages again, because this is where you're going to spend a majority, if not all of your time on this section. So from here, there's a couple ways you can do this. So the first way you can do this is uh, now you notice you have classic. This is the old deprecated um, ones that they had before. The new one is what you want to go. This is a visual builder. This is where the power of page builder uh, really, really resonates. So let's click on new. So once the initialization is complete, you get this screen here. Now, this is a very, very clean interface. I love it, really. So you look at the very top here. You can always click to close the page. Uh, then you have the page title. So when you click on this drop down, it shows you all the pages that you currently have. So if you wanted to edit something, you can click to edit here. You can also choose to create a new page. You can check the page settings. You can check the SEO for this individual page. So let's go to the page settings. Now this shows you the page settings for the page that you're working on not the entire site just for this page and if you wanted to give certain access to this particular page you can do that as well now access is just saying that if you have a membership site for example and you did not want the general public to have access to this page you wanted to create you can just go to register that means that in order for someone to get access to it they would first um, have to register so you go over to the styles this is where you can be able to work with your styling the age one tags uh, you have your topography right here you have your font um, you scroll it down and once again I'm going to be covering all this stuff later on we want to give you an overview and then this is where you want your um, image optimization which is really great because when you optimize your images things load a lot faster and then CSS if you want to put some stuff in there so that's part that's closed and let's go back to the setting, the SEO setting, the same thing, the title, the description, the keywords, you can put your Twitter username, Facebook ID, you can put an image if you want here for that. And you get used um, the open graph uh, and Twitter card as well. So let's close that out. And then here you can link to a menu page and then you can link to a menu page, but then you get this message reminding you, you have to save what you've done first. And this is really key. I'm so glad they did this because, you know, sometimes you design and start working on stuff and you accidentally click something and then you lose all that work. Uh, so right over here, you have the, the different uh, devices that you can be able to view it through. Uh, so it's responsive. You have a desktop, you have a tablet, you have the mobile, and then you have you can toggle through with the view, and then you have the SEO uh, quick rank. You can optimize the images here. You can page uh, view this page, and also you can save. And then you have to add sections. So if you're starting with a brand new page, you can either choose a template or you can add a section. So you click on this add section. It's going to ask you how do you want to uh, the section to look now once again regardless of the section that you choose you can always adjust it accordingly okay so you can choose to add this section let's take that off now you've added that section okay so you chose let's say we choose this one right here. so we've added two sections 
and each section at the very top here, you click on the section setting. Every section has a setting. So this one has a setting and you click on there. This is the generic setting that applies to this entire section. So if you wanted to change, let's say the font color for all the uh, text in this section, you could do that here. If you wanted this to be in a container, a full width, or if you want it to be custom, you can do that here as well. And you have the layout style, the spacing. You can choose for the background and then you can choose the overlay and you scroll down the divider and the bottom and you have to advance. So let's cancel this out now. And we're going to take a look at the elements uh, later on. So right now you can choose to add different elements. If you want to add an alert, uh, let's click on this one right here. So once you add it just like that, you have it on there. You can choose the different stylings for it. You can choose the behavior, the icon. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless as you're going to see later on for the rest of the course. So now we've added this. OK, so let's say that I wanted to uh, show you. Let's say, go back to the home page. So now we're going to take a look at this home page here. What's consist of it, you know? It looks like there's a lot going on, but when we take a look at this thing, you're going to be able to see how simple and easy it is for you to edit this entire page. So let's click here and let's go over to the home one. It's going to ask, you know, the Mac is asking, I want to save this. I don't know, just want to leave. So when we activate this home page, this is what it looks like. And as you move your mouse on every part of the site, you notice it's highlighted. It lets you know the section that you're added in and literally every single thing that you see on this page, you can edit. That is the beautiful thing about this. Every little thing you see on this page, you can edit and change it to be exactly how you want it to be. Look at this. Just I'm moving the mouse over. You can edit this. You can change that. So let's go and start from the top. Once again, I'm going to give you an overview and then we're going to break each thing down. But let's say you wanted to come in like, hmm, let me see. I want to edit this. So when you put your mouse over it at the top right hand corner, uh, you're going to see um, the editing icon for each element. OK, this an element, this an element and you can choose to edit. So you put your mouse over here, you click to edit. And you get this pop up It's telling you that you see where it says fitness template. You can change that. I can put this quick template if I can spell template right. But do you see how incredible it is? I am able to change it and you see that right there and the text that is right here. You can change that text right over here as well. The image, you can change the image to whatever you want that image to be. You scroll down. The content alignment, you can choose the alignment for it. So just like that, I've changed that text. And let's come to this one. All right, now let's take a look at something here. This is the readjustment. Let's say that you don't like the spacing for each one right here. And you wanted to give one a little more space. All that you would have to do is just drag like that. Left, you can drag in or you can drag out. You see how easy it is? So you can give different items the amount of space that's needed as you're going. It shows you the percentage. Look at this. That's incredible. Look at it. So simple. So if you're designing something and you realize that, hmm, the column spacing that I have is not sufficient, I want to be able to do more and I want to do less. You can do that as well. So how do you move things around? When you put your mouse over each section here, you're going to activate a few things. So you see where it says options. When you click on the options, you have several things. You can click for the settings which is going to bring the settings just for that section. No, I don't want to do anything there. So let's close that out. You can duplicate that section. So I click to duplicate. Now I've duplicated this entire section is two of them. You can come and you can copy and paste it in a different part. You can go, you can save this. You can disable this. So if I click disable, now I've disabled just the first part and I come back again uh, and then you can be able to uh, remove things. So I don't want this part to show up anymore. So now that part of it has been disabled. So it's not duplicated anymore. And then I want to come back to let's move into another section here. So I want to come back to this section, click on this one. And I wanted to, let's say, delete it. I can click to delete and that whole section is gone. Now, let's say you realize that, oh, man, I made a mistake. Why did I just do that? Don't fret. Everything is OK. You click on this back 
And there you have it, the section that you just accidentally deleted, it's, it's still right there. So you scroll down and you're literally able to do anything here. This is such a beautiful and a crisp design. The way that things are laid out is just laid out perfectly. Perfect. When I mean perfectly, it is just incredible. So you're going to have so much fun in this course. I promise you that you're going to learn how to move things around, how to add different items on your page. You are going to be the master designer. Matter of fact, you can fire your web designer right now. <laughs> you know, after you finish watching this entire course and see what you can be able to do, you can say, listen, man, I could do this by myself. And that is the joy that I get when I have so many of you reach out to me and say, man, you know what? I've saved so much time. I've saved so much money. Now, guys like myself that would do web design, you know, for a living and would do uh, front end design and things like that. Most of us don't want to share this secret with you. But while well, the cat is out the bag, so even if you have no coding experience, trust me, you can be able to create beautiful websites using the Quicks page builder. It is really, really incredible. And it really does allow for anyone to create pixel perfect websites.